I got uh, into U.S. first time in late October 1984. Guess what? It was the Halloween, <laughs> which was a really quite interesting first time. I saw how adults really dressed up like monsters, like all kind of ghosts, like uh, uh, what the funny jokers. My English class was good. I went to a very good school, but we learned the textbook, like, uh, how do you do? I beg your pardon. None of the Americans using that. It's like, hello, hi. It's like, hello, hi. So I, I do learn, but uh, somehow I was not uh, afraid. I was already 36 years old. You're supposed to have a stable life or whatever. But I felt like I was like a pioneer all over again. I was trained in China, so I have a skill. I can render, I can sketch, I can, you know, work from photographs very well. But uh, I think how to liberate myself, that's uh, uh, how, what, not just uh, how to paint, what to paint, why I'm doing that. 1988, um, I did a Resident Alien, but my own immigration story, including the uh, Chinese immigrants, I got more and more interested in finding more historical photographs because uh, this part of history, at least in China, was uh, kind of erased, forgotten. One of the reasons was that uh, during Cultural Revolution, a lot of families had to burn their family photo albums, and the historical photographs are altered or destroyed because people are afraid that if not, uh, anything will become evidence, you know, to get your family in trouble. So, very little photograph of ordinary Chinese, a most official photograph of the great leaders, the revolution. So when I saw real, a photograph of a Chinese in their living condition, like a more, not staged, pretty much real situation, I like that. That started my whole, you know, focus. From early 90s, I went to China doing summer research. I just so happened, found uh, quite a few photographs of a young Chinese prostitute uh, in the turn of 20th century. They were girls from poor family never really had a life in the brothel. And uh, their faces, very real to me, as if uh, making some connection with me through the, all the time, all the space. They look like a ghost. So I like that kind of a, a half decaying, half a, uh, kind of a disappearing, appearing, disappearing quality.
补一下，在贫下中农的直接教育下。I was sent to the countryside to work in the field for four years during the Cultural Revolution. I worked with the peasants, shoulder to shoulder, literally in the field. Only vacation, Chinese New Year's, a few days off. Other, otherwise, there's no wage, there's no weekend, there's no holidays. In the city, people are all kind of poor in China. Then, but when you really, um, you in the in the countryside, really the bottom, you you witness the poverty. Uh, the dire situation for some families. I just felt like I was once one of them once, maybe forever. They changed my life. I felt like uh, American history should not be forgotten either. There's not too much difference between American uh, farmers. And uh, the dust bowl, you know, I would say refugees or migrants, than the Chinese peasants. Dorothy Lang has been one of my heroes, not only because she was a photographer, she was, she was a woman. That's amazing, you know, to be able to do this kind of work in the field, driving her old Ford with heavy-duty cameras and document the condition, the real situation of the dust ball. After her death, her husband Give the whole her whole archive to Oakland Museum. And I went through binders, binders of her photographs. And I started to you know use the images put on canvas and from uh, Drawing develop into oil painting. I use the more lines, colorful lines, almost like a topography, to scan the the image. I almost try to understand each detail, each fragment, each small piece. Of this history, but also those colorful lines shed some uh, line to the darkness. The hardship, the dire situation, but also maybe strength, spirit, also dignity of the people, which Dorothy Lang always keep that in mind. Her great humanity comes through. For example, one of the painting, this one particular one without a human figure, is a onion field. This is the original photograph, and you can see the onions curing in the field. And then some already in the sex, burlap sex, which I was very familiar with. I harvest sweet potatoes or, or other things from the, the field. The whole journey is uh, to maybe go through memory lane with Dorothy and I. I feel. She is a great my hero, uh, my teacher, my mentor, but also my colleague in some way.
canvas is uh, to me it's memorial site. It's uh, almost like a burial ground. Each painting for me is uh, summoning the ghost. I honor them, honor their life. That's very important.